I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now here is a question from two of my subscribers. They individually wants to know a couple of things about the numbers 12 and 18. So one of you want to know what are the factors of these two numbers, right? Now the other student wants to know about the multiples. So I've kind of combined the question and we'll now talk about factors, multiples, lowest common multiple, greatest common factor and few other things to take care of some other requests. So we'll also talk about prime factorization and Venn diagram. Now all this will help us find lowest common multiple and greatest common factor in different ways. So I hope that would be very useful exercise. So let's begin by first finding factors for the numbers given to us. The numbers are 12 and 18. So let's begin with 12. To find the factors, always one time the number itself will give you the number. So these two are always factors of a number. Now prime numbers will have two factors. However, composite numbers like 12 and 18 will have many factors, more than two. Now it's an even number, so I could divide it by two. Two times six is 12 and we know three times four is also 12. So we get six factors for 12. Now we'll do the same exercise for 18. So 1 times 18 we know is 18. It's also an even number. 2 times 9. If you can divide by 9, you can also divide by 3. So 3 times 6 is 18. So that gives you the factors of 18. So I hope the first step is very clear how to find factors right keep on dividing the number if you get a whole number with remainder zero then you have a factor that's the whole idea now we'll look into greatest common factor so between 12 and 18 first let me point out the numbers which are common factors so we see that 1 and 1 is a common factor, 2 and 2 is also a common factor, 3 and 3 is also a common factor, well 6 and 6 is also a common factor. So amongst these common factors, 6 is the greatest common factor. So just check which are common and select the one which is greatest to find greatest common factor that is GCF right now to find multiples what should we do we need to write multiples now right so let's write multiples of 12 and 18 so 12 times 1 is 12 12 times 2 is 24 times 3 is 36 then we get 48 and like this we can go on for 18 the multiples are 18 times 1 and 2 is 36 now what you notice here is that 36 is common so from here we know that lowest common multiple so the lowest common is 36 so we get our lowest common multiple as 36 is that clear so this exercise helps us to find very easily lowest common multiple and the greatest common factor. Now let us see how to apply prime factorization and Venn diagram to answer this question. We have the same question. We need to find lowest common multiple and greatest common factor of 12 and 18 using two different methods. So this is the second method which we say prime factorization. Right? So this combination of prime factorization and Venn diagram. Right? 
Let us see how to do it. So let's first do prime factorization of the number 12. So we have to divide by prime numbers. 2 is 1. So 2 times 6. 6 could be divided by 2 again, getting 3. So we could write 12 as product of 2 times 2 times 3. Now let's do the same thing for the number 18. Now 18 is 2 times 9 and 9 could be written as 3 times 3. So 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. Now from these numbers we can make Venn diagram. So let me make circles indicating prime factors of 12 and another circle writing prime factors of 18. So we have these two circles here. This represents prime factors of 12, that for 18. Now, which are common? So 1, 3 is common, right? And even 1, 2 is common. So those common factors come right there in the center, 2 and 3. Once you put these numbers, whatever is left for 12, just 1, 2, is placed here. And for 18, we are left with 1, 3. Correct? So this gives you both the answers. How? What is common? Right? So greatest common factor is product of these two. So GCF, greatest common factor, is 2 times 3 which is equal to 6. Do you see that? For finding the lowest common multiple, LCM, what we need to do is to just multiply all these numbers. So we get 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Correct? 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 9 is 36. So we get LCM of 36. So we get the same answer that is greatest common factor is equal to 6 and lowest common multiple is equal to 36. Do you see that? So these two are very effective ways of finding lowest common multiple and greatest common factor. Let me thank once again all of you for contributing so positively and appreciating my videos. Feel free to like them, to subscribe to them, and share them with your friends. Thank you, and all the best.